And here we go, really quick. This is uh, going to be a Parmesan rosemary uh, fricia, I think I'm pronouncing it correctly. Fricasia? I think so. Something like that. <laughs> uh, but we're going to do up two loaves of this and getting things started out. Your uh, skillet hot, and uh, with that, we're gonna go ahead and add some basil infused, this is a pampered chef uh, olive oil, uh, but it's a, a basil infused olive oil, so we're just gonna throw that all in there. Uh, get our favorite spatula out again. And then to this, we're going to go ahead and we're going to add in uh, two medium sized chopped onions that we prepped, obviously. Slippery little suckers. And this won't take long to get, get going. What you see there in the measuring cup is uh, some yeast that we're going to be adding to our bread. Uh, and that comes in a later stage of the process and uh, while we're waiting for these onions to get up and run we're going to take a short break we'll be right back we've got a uh, good sizzle on the onions going right now we just have to soft we just have to cook these until they become soft so it's not going to take very long and we've already added our sugar to the yeast mix that we got there. And pretty soon we're going to shift gears over to our baker's rack and we're going to start mixing up the dough itself. So uh, we'll be right back. Alright, here we go. Fast and Furious. We're going to add in the last of our basil infused olive oil. And we're going to take out two cups of flour of the four that this originally called for. And I'm going to take a whisk and we're going to whisk this into a creamy batter. in uh, enough of the remaining flour uh, until this starts forming a soft dough. It's already starting to gain that consistency now. Thicker. It might actually take all four cups.
side onto our lower surface. And we're gonna, we're gonna beat it up a little bit. All right, we're back. We just got done uh, letting this rest for 40 minutes uh, in a warm area uh, above the stove uh, so that the bread can rise. It has. Um, we've got the onions and the rosemary already added in there. And uh, it says to punch down through it, so we just did that. And then we're gonna roll this out onto a lightly floured surface. But what we're doing is we're basically gonna cut this straight in half. ourselves another one of our uh, wonderful cutting sheets. These things are great for doing pie dough and obviously bread dough. And, um, what we're actually going to do here is we're going to um, its own uh, place to be and we're gonna flatten these out so they're uh, about an inch thick and uh, finishing touch of course because I did say at the beginning of this segment that we were doing a parmesan cheese uh, Dusting the top of these two slabs of yumminess. And we're going to give them a generous coating of Parmesan. Obviously, I'm name dropping for craft here because I do like their Parmesan. There are others out there uh, Romano and uh, Parmesan. Several different Italian blends that you could probably use. Um, I just like the old fashioned Parmesan. Um, for this, anyway, we're trying to keep the 
flavoring moderate. You let the onions and the rosemary and the rest of this do the work. So we're going to slide these into the oven at 375 for about 30 minutes each. And we'll be back uh, to show you the finished practice after it comes out of the oven.